Hi everyone, James here from F9 and the Freemasons and welcome to this third video showing you the content of the F9 toolkit for Logic X and Logic 9. Now it's synth time and we've got an awful lot of stuff to get through and I'm going to kind of work backwards on this set and we're going to show you the lead sounds first. Uh, the reason being is I've literally just finished what was supposed to be a small little demo that I got totally carried away on. Now the leads from this pack come from a variety of sources and we've got everything from this. So this kind of thing. To this. Some contemporary lead styles. All the way up to the classics. Now, rather than me go through the patch manually on this, I'm just going to play you what I actually put together here. And I got totally carried away, I must admit, but that's one of the great things about this release. It totally draws you in. So let's have a listen to it. So there we go, a whole series of different lead sounds playing different parts and themes throughout one piece of music, all fitting together sonically very well. And we've hardly had to change any of the channel strips to do this. They just kind of pop up and work. There is a future retro vibe to a lot of the sounds in there, as well as some contemporary and cutting sounds, and that's totally deliberate. We're noticing all forms of music are kind of referencing the past at the moment. OK, next up, pads, and one very on-point pad at the moment. We just couldn't resist that, I'm afraid. And we've got some more stunning material here. Now, all of the sounds you've just heard there are from analog synths, but we've done the same things we did with the basses. We've sampled them raw waveform style, so you can actually have full synthesis control within the ESX24.
Now, obviously, this is incredibly useful because it means you can tailor the sounds to your individual track's needs. OK, moving on from analog, let's hear some digitals. And we're going to start with a few soft pads now that are just great general purpose pads. When we came to put the demos together, we realised just how often we use sounds like this, and the mod wheel will control the filter opening that you heard there. And now for one of my favourite sections of this entire release, the liquid pads patches. Now these are huge, multi-layered, slowly evolving, uh, just wonderful sounding instruments that just make you want to sit down and play. And what better thing to do at this point than to nick a little bit of Hans Zimmer. I actually think I could sit there and play that particular piece of music literally all day, but we better move on. Now let's have a look at the plucks. So we've got a great selection of plucked and mallet based instruments. For example, ethnic plucks like this. Now, an awful lot of these sounds are multi-layered, and within that set, you've actually got one of the most bizarre synths from the 90s, the Hartmann Neuron. It was designed by the guy who designed the front panel for the Elisis Andromeda, and it was an incredible looking synth with these brilliant little red joysticks. Um, it sounds like nothing else on this planet. It is absolutely bizarre to use, but was a commercial failure, so there's very few of them knocking around. Now, who would have thought five or six years ago that the humble marimba was going to shoot forward in popularity and be so important in music production that even Ed Sheeran thinks he's got to have one in his records. We got plenty of patches that do all of the sounds that have been all over the charts recently. And some surprises, for example, this is one of my favourites. Now, as throughout this pack, these patches are designed to work together. So here's just an example of a little piece I put together a minute ago using a collection of the patches. Okay, synth plucks next, and we had a ball put in this little section together. There's actually quite a few patches in there, and they range from everything from this to this to this. To this. to this and some classic synth tones and some old favourites.
And you can hear a couple of those in actions on this piece from the main audio demos. Okay, so now moving on to the polyphonic synths. And the first set I want to show you are these layer polys, which are a kind of new concept that we came up with whilst we were putting the pack together. We thought, why wouldn't it be good to develop a series of patches that are tailored to different areas of the audio spectrum? So these are the low end patches. So as you hear, a completely different vibe on each one of them. Now these are the mid-range polys meant for chords. Now they've all come from different sources, different types of sources as well, and as you can hear, they've got all got a different feel to them. So these ones now, the high polys, are just meant to add some kind of sparkle over the top and are great if you play additional chords. Now obviously those sounds are useful by themselves, but when you start to add them together in the way that I'm just about to show you, it can sound incredibly contemporary. So take a simple chord sequence and split up the different chords that happen on different bars between different versions of each poly. So for example, here you'll see the chords are split between three or four different versions of uh, the mid polys. Now that can give you an overall sound when put together with a little bit of pitch shift and a little bit of rhythmical cues like this. <laughs> Powerful stuff, and that's another example of all of the sounds in this pack being designed to work together. Okay, so to round this whole set of three videos off, I'm just going to give you a quick blast of the rest of the poly keys or the poly synth patches that are in this pack. That is a Jupiter 8 at its finest. All oscillators going just when it's woken up in the morning so it's drifting like crazy. Beautiful patch. Microwave patch now. Now you hear there's tons of room for extra synthesis control here using the ESX24 functions.
So with the last decaying tones of that chord, we have now come to the end. If you've watched three videos, I do admire your dedication. Thank you so much. This is the third video in a series of three detailing the sounds and the setups of the F9 toolkit for Logic X and Logic 9. We hope that if you do buy it, you love it as much as we do because we are going to be using this for years. So that's all from us now on this set of toolkit videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Yeah.